guys. Just wanted to do a short little video here. Today, um, I have got my um, calcium reactor all set up and running. Hopefully this all works out. I've been um, trying to get this thing dialed in all day and, um, and um, doing my doing a lot of testing to see where my level's at. Um, my levels are pty stable my alkalinity has been running at around 9 dkh and uh, my calcium is about 430 and magnesium is around about 360 so um, hopefully that well I mean um, only thing that I'm a little worried about was my my nitrates were up to 1 so I'm thinking that's due to on the, um, the Red Sea supplement that I've been dosing the tank, been dosing probably twice as much. I mean, everything seems to be growing a lot from the dosing, but I noticed today when I did my little test that my levels were a little high, but everything seems to be happy. You know? doesn't seem to be affecting anything but yeah I got the um, five pound CO2 tank today um, got it all hooked up um, I've got my pH probe if you can see back there my pH probe is inside of the let me move this you see it back there inside of the reactor and um, hopefully I have this set up right. I was trying to program my reef keeper to, um, well, hopefully I, it, I'm trying to run it with um, the affluent inside of the chambers at around between 6.8 and 6.7. So hopefully if it gets um, below 6.7, and it will shut off. Um, hopefully it won't go above um, 6.8. So, like I said, it's a slow process and I have to keep um, working with this and doing a lot of testing over the next week or so, or probably longer than that, and get this all dialed in. So, if you look down here, here's my drip line, which um, which is dripping from the effluent um, from the calcium reactor. And as you see, I um, switched. I moved my top-off container over here, and pretty much unplugged everything from my um, dosing pump. One thing that I still have plugged in is um, my calc washer container up there on the side, which I don't really have any place to put it at the moment. Um, pretty much loaded up this underneath my tank here, this cabinet, it's full. So, um, and the reason why I still have the calc washer is bench that I'm running the um, calcium reactor at between 6.8 and 6.7. I'm thinking that that's probably going to lower the pH in my tank. Hopefully no lower than 7.8, but just to kind of help stabilize the pH in my system. I am also dosing calc washer to kind of help with that. And hopefully, and also with the and the reason why I have the fluent chamber dripping on before my refugium is I would like, well, from what I hear, that the um, refugium helps with uh, the excess CO2 coming out into the water. So, you know, plants like CO2, so hopefully the microalgae will take care of a lot of the CO2 coming out along with um, this affluent chamber, this extra chamber on my GFO reactor. 
But, yeah, so I guess I'll keep you guys posted. Stays go. But, um, pretty happy with this. Hopefully, um, this will cut down on um, me buying the two part. I mean, I, I really don't dose all that much two part. It's just that um, I haven't had to do very many water changes on this system the way I have it set up. So, hopefully, this will help with the natural elements that are missing from the tank so yeah so let me know what you guys think you know please comment like subscribe and i will catch you guys later peace thanks for watching